Oh wow, this is a lot different. Hello dudes and dudettes, welcome back to Stone Block. Wait, but this is Stone Block 3, so welcome to Stone Block 3. Wow, we have a lot of things already here. Stone cutters, fern eye, uh, stone lower base roof, I like it. I even have some blast furnaces over here. We have netherrack, a nether portal. Um, and what do I do? I jump right into the lava. That's amazing. Okay, so this is new. Oh. Maybe this is like a central hub. Okay, sorry, this is new. I don't have any experience with this. What is that? Ooh, reanimated soul sand. I like it. Oh man, okay. So I guess we go stone block portal. Oh, the original cave, drippy cave, lush house, mine shaft intersection. Um, let's do the original. We're here for stone block content. All right. Um, system at underscore super turtle has joined the party. Okay. So we see we have 40 pages here of different mods. How many of them are taking up by applied energistics panels? Um, I don't think applied energistics is in here. Ooh, this is good. Oh wait, applied energistics is in here, but the panels are not amazing. Oh, look at that red flower mark three. Oh man, this is good. This is really good. We have a lot of things to do here. But first, let's check out the quest book, right? Welcome to Stone Block 3 Introduction and Information. Maga is placed entirely within the underground world, no surface. Oh, as you travel further from your spawn point, you will come across dungeons, caves, and eventually a ring of nether and end. Okay. Every player has their own dimension spawning at zero zero and has their own rings. You can teleport to another player by using slash TPA command. Okay. That doesn't apply to us because we are uh, in a single player world, which is totally okay. But yes, we have that starting. Okay. World slash server spawn in the lobby area. Everyone spawns here. I shouldn't say. Uh, we don't need to worry about that one at all because we are in single player. Cool. So let's see here. Getting started. Gather stone pebbles. Alone in a cave with nothing but rocks, what's a better use of your time than punching them? Mining stone with your fist results in dropping stone pebbles, which can be crafted into cobblestone. Can be eaten if or for whatever reason you would want to. Okay, so the first thing is to make this. It's pretty dark. We are at maximum brightness. All right, it's just dark here. Now it's super dark. Okay, more evenly lit. Good. So we're just going to mine some stone here. We got our first stone pebble. Let's go ahead. Random reward. Basic item collector. That's really overpowered. Uh, crafting. Okay. So we need to mine a total of 16 of these. And we didn't even get one on that one. I got to do it with my hand. I just forgot. If we mine it with something other than our hand, then we don't get the thing. That's okay. But guys, I am super, super duper excited for Stone Block 3. My goodness. I have been such a fan of the Stone Block series. Stone Block 1, Stone Block 2, and now 3 is out. Oh man, so great. So glad I got to be a part of the first initial launch. Okay, so we have four cobblestone, and we have ourselves a crafting table. Perfect. So we're going to get another random reward. We got a skillet. Amazing. Can we, what can we do with it? Oh, we can place it down. I, I love the skillet. It's so good. Advanced. Basic item collector, not advanced. Sorry. <clears throat> All right. So the next thing we need to make is a stone a chest. Um, cobblestone chest. Cobblestone panel. Okay. So we need to do some more mining of the stone with our hand. That is okay. Cool. Now we start to get into getting rid of the walls. All right, so we have a fair bit amount of cobblestone pebbles now. So what we're gonna do is craft them up like so, and like this. Okay, so, oh, we need actually quite a bit more stone pebbles, I didn't realize. All 
All right, that should be sufficient here. And we do a two by two, cool. Cobblestone chest. So now we can put things in there, amazing. All right, random reward, what did we get? A trident. That is pretty lit. Some of these rewards are amazing. All right, so hammers are good. Crooks, a good maze crook can be making drops. Wait, mining certain blocks with a crook will make them drop items like saplings and seeds. You can see the drops in REI. Okay. Whoops. So gravel gives you that. Um, gravel or yeah. Well, how do you make that? Ah, with a hammer. That's what we need is the hammer first. Okay, so stone hammer, we need some stone sticks. So we need four, uh, eight. Ten. So we need we need quite a bit of stone here. So I'm gonna kinda just chisel away the walls and I guess we'll we'll do that. Okay, so we got quite a bit of these stone pebbles now. Um, that's actually the right amount that I needed. Perfect. Wait a second, no, I didn't need that many. Oh, okay, so now we have the hammer, which is good. We can make the stone crook two. Whoops, too many. All right, so now we have two of those quests that have been completed. We got a large cog wheel, okay. And then we got another basic uh, item collector. Oh, we got two large cogwheels. Very cool. Okay, so we're definitely going to turn these into cobblestone. Let me put the cobblestone in there. Uh, but now the good thing is, is that we have a stone hammer. Uh, I'm wondering, can we make a stone pickaxe now? No, we cannot. Okay, no worries. So, get a sapling. Um... Mining dirt with a crook. That is cool and all, but how the heck do we get dirt? Um, so we hammer cobblestone. Okay. Oh, and then that gives us gravel. And this gives us dirt. All right, and then we use a stone crook, and boom, look at all the vegetation that we received. So good, okay. Beautiful, so we're gonna take this guy, make it gravel, good, make it gravel again, our sand, our dirt, whatever the words are. All right, and so we're gonna take this block here. Nope, this one here. And we're gonna make it dirt, perfect. And then we're gonna take an oak sapling. Oh, and yes, we can torque around it, amazing. So we use the crook on here, we get a bunch of food, saplings, oh, and goodies, and then we just mine. Amazing. We got wood, everyone, yay! Perfect, so with that one done, we can get another tree grown. Amazing. What happens if you mine this with a hammer? You get the goods, perfect. All right, so we got a sapling. Awesome, we got a bundle. Gravel, we get compressed gravel, compressed sand, seeds. Oh, we got carrots, got wood, choice. We're gonna do oak. All right, Tinker Tool. Okay, so this, we're really speeding up here. Um, uh, 
Okay, so we want to make one of these. We need to make a couple of these guys. We need to make some sticks. Very good. Make those. Got a couple of them. Tinker station. Um, we need some planks. Get a part builder. All right. So part builder, tinker station. This will allow us to make some really nice tools. Awesome. So go to quests. Got that. We got a black lotus from Batania. Those are really good, actually. All right, here we go. So melter, we can go this method uh, with seared stone. How do you get clay in this pack? Okay, a clay ball, a dripper. Okay, so we need water for that. I don't think that's really within the wheelhouse just yet. Um, let's get some sand. We're going to go through all of this. Get andesite as well. Diorite. Nether quartz. Hmm. Why are we on deep slate? Okay, so I have to do some exploring. Okay, so we can use normal stone to make that good. Okay, so let's go ahead here. Uh, we need to make some of these guys. So cogwheel, we need some polished andesite. Okay, so it looks like in order to go get some andesite, we need to go out uh, 55 blocks. So I think I'm just gonna go from the center and just straight out 55 blocks here. Uh, I did go ahead and craft up a stone or wooden pickaxe and then a stone pickaxe, um, just but with the with the tree and then I mined a little bit. So super simple. We're uh, into the stone tools age, so that's really nice. But yeah, I'm just gonna make my way 55 blocks this way and we'll have some fun. Maybe we'll create a furnace. Good option here to bake some torches. Um, yeah, so we can go like this and like this, and then we can plant tree, dance a little bit, and then we can just mine those and mine the wood. Good. So we got a couple torches here. Gonna mine or grab those, and we'll keep mining. But yeah, this is this is working great. Okay, so I had a sneaking suspicion you couldn't go out just 55 blocks directionally from you. You have to go either up or down. So we are going to go down and we are going to do mining. Yes. So uh, what I'm going to do is maybe grab a couple of these. We'll put one in here. So that will be the rest. And then we can convert these into planks and then these into sticks and then these into ladders. Boom, okay. So we do need to do a couple more dances. Just a good little dance, you know? Okay, so we should have sufficient wood to make the sufficient ladders okay yep we're good so i'm gonna mine straight down all the way to minus 55. okay perfect so we just hit and a site here, which is part of the level, uh, or I guess part of the quest here to look at that. Uh, it wants us to look at Deep Slate 2, but what I want to do is get the ladders assembled here. Okay, so the ladder is good to go. 
we can just make our way back down and see about getting some andesite. Okay, cool. So I'm down at the very bottom here, or not the very bottom, but just how many ladders we have. And the great thing is the amount of ladders we had equated to their, uh, us being on, uh, looking at a uh, deep slate. Yes, this here. We got seared bricks for that. I feel like that's really good. Now, we can just vein mine those. Very good. I'm gonna use some of the cobblestone. And we got some andesite down here, but it's cool. Cause I do know in other mod packs, um, it hasn't been set to mine all of the andesite. It just mines a lot of different stuff. So the fact that we can use vein miner or FTB ultra mine on just andesite is very good. All right, so we can dump all of our stuff over here. We got quite a bit of andesite, which is amazing. Um, and so if we check our quests over here for getting started, uh, we need to polish andesite stone rod and some wood. So we'll get some stone. Um, we need some more wood, that's okay. Just dance a little bit, there we go. And we got the wood that we need, perfect, okay. So here we go, oak planks. Let's go ahead and make a cogwheel. Um, yeah, we'll go like this. Perfect. And okay, so eight of those. We wrap these buttons around a polished andesite, boom, we get one cogwheel. So we do need to actually make two of those. Okay. Perfect. All right, and then the handle here, and then the millstone crank, cool. So we've unlocked that, or we did that quest here, random reward. We got an anvil, let's go, that's really good. Uh, and the cool thing is we did get a large cogwheel too, so we can um, mine that a bit better. Okay, can you stop breaking? Okay, cool, cool, cool. We also have some charcoal. Let's make a couple more torches here. We're just gonna make four, and we'll put them on each of the walls. Like so, perfect. Now it's way more lit in here, feels way more cozy. All right, so in this corner here is where I wanna put the millstone. So we need the little guy here, and then we can have the big guy. Hmm. That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Is that even gonna work? Yeah. Surprisingly, that actually worked. Okay, so what if, what if we made something better? I don't know why I put those there. I have forgotten how to play Minecraft. Okay, so we need to design this in a good way. So cogwheel here. We're gonna put the crank on it, and then we'll put the little guy here, and then how do we make how do we make one of these guys? We need a shaft. Okay, so that is gonna require that. We can put this guy here. We need to make one more of the wee little lads. Okay. There we go. And put this here, and then we can put the millstone here. Mmm, overstressed. That is okay. We'll go back to our original setup. It's a little too powerful. Whoops. Okay, but the cool thing is, is now we have this so we can start doubling resources when we get it. Um, let's take a look here. 
Millstone more advanced resources are available. So I like to create the millstone is powered by rotation force. Like you can just double to ponder. Okay. So now that means we can get resources here. Milling products. Mill some gravel. Oh. Wait. Hang on. There's a way to compress this, right? You guys are probably going to yell at me for not doing that. Compressed cobblestone. We place the six down. We use the hammer. We get compressed gravel. Yes. And so, we, okay, we don't place it. I, for, I just remembered we don't place it like that. We throw it in, like so, and then we do this. And because we got the big cogwheels, this is actually moving faster than it would normally be moving. All right, the particles have stopped. Let's see what we got here. Oh, wow. We got 19 raw iron, we got coal, we got raw zinc. Very cool. So we did that here. Amazing iron impact hammer. What does that do? Mines in a three by three area. You couldn't have made me more happy to expand the base. Thank you, game. All right, collecting lava, fire plow. I, I saw that earlier. Very cool. Okay, so we can do that real quick here. All right, fire plow. I'm nervous. <gasps> wow, we just turned that straight into, wow. Okay, so we have, we made that part. We just need the lava. How do we make water with a cauldron? Okay, with a cauldron. You can get water by right clicking cauldron with leaves or saplings. Oh! Oh, okay. Very cool. We just need three of these to smelt up to get a lava bucket. And then we can make a cobblestone generator. Amazing. Cool. So we have the materials to make a bucket. Booyah. Lava bucket. There we go. Let's accept that quest. Random reward. Heartstone. What does that do? Shift. Teleports a player to their personal spawn point or if the world or if enabled the world spawn. Ooh, can be enchanted with unbreaking and mending. That sounds amazing. Okay, so we need more of these to smelt so that we can make a cauldron and click in some saplings. So we need a total of 10. Cool, okay, so we have the amount that we require so we can make the cauldron and the bucket. All right, so we put the cauldron down. Loot B has spawned. What is that? Let's go get him. I don't know what that does. He's got loot, I guess. Come here, loot B. What do you have for us? He's on the run. Oh, I didn't realize I wasn't supposed to smack him. I'm sorry, B. Oh, geez, a crystal chest. Where are you going? Diamonds. Oh, he's gone. He gave us an egg. Two eggs. A crystal chest, though. Guys, look at this. Look at the storage on that. Amazing. Can I even break it? Is it going to go away? Do we lose all of our stuff if we do this? No, we're good. Okay, so that's where all of our items are going. We have a little space over here that's kind of far away from our base, so we're going to open one of these over here. All right. And here we go. We're going to open up this loot case, or sorry, this chance cube in three, two, one. 